after almost 500k of traveling today um, with a lot of stops in between as well and a few walks um, we made it to our camp in Wanaka so now 6 p.m. Um, and I'm on my way to Wanaka tree I want to see that I have my drone with me to maybe fly that around if it's allowed and the scenery up to here as you can see in the video was just amazing stunning mountain region lakes and look that's my camp over there I'm sleeping right in the mountains and um, the Wanaka Lake is just like almost a five minutes walk from here and we have like 15 minutes walk to Wanaka tree and might actually go for a swim as well it's almost 30 degrees and uh, yeah it's 27 degrees at 6 p.m so why not go for a swim if we can and uh, tomorrow tomorrow morning we are going to hit Roy's Peak that's gonna be another challenge let's see how early we get up I'm I'm tired and not tired at the same time if you know what I mean I know I don't know it's weird um, but it's been hot uh, my arms just changed color during the ride and uh, my driver's side arm is way darker than the other one <laughs> and both of my so both of my arms have different colors and they are both different to my upper body as well so we definitely need to to lay down in the sun at some point um, but yeah tomorrow it's gonna be a sunny day as well and I wanted to try to go as early as possible to have no sun or not much sun on the way up but oh, look at that amazing yeah but we'll see how long I sleep usually I wake up quite early but uh, yeah, the long ride was quite exhausting today so we'll see so check this out Wanaka Lake and we're heading towards Wanaka Tree going along the water side no maybe not maybe not so many people down there so yeah but I have my headphones in because I'm talking to my mom and show her the nice view of where I am and give her a little update about the road trip so yeah I'll bring you guys back in once we're at the tree all right guys this is the Wanaka tree I'll just show you how beautiful it is with that mountain region in the background and I'll just give you another few flying shots once we set up I really like the mountains in the background there we have a lady painting it just an amazing scenery okay let's take some drone shots before we go out and head in for a little swim
after a long day of driving, traveling, hiking, uh, hiking is a bit too big of a word, we didn't really hike, but we went for little walks. We finally made it into the water and it feels so nice. We are at Wanaka Lake, still over there is the, the Wanaka tree. We have this beautiful scenery and this little nice beachside. Ooh. For a well deserved swim. This is so wow. This is so refreshing. It's so good. And uh, so if I'm not mistaken, this one over there is Roy's Peak. And uh Roy's Peak is what we're gonna hike tomorrow. Um the top, the peak of it is 1,500 meters high. It takes about three and a half hours to go up. And as I said before, we want to try to make it early, but we'll see. Because if we go too late, like if the sun is already up, it's going to be super, super hot. And we want to try to make it a bit easier and relaxed on the way up. Also we can see the sunrise from up there which would be an extra extra bonus while oh, walking up. Alright let's call it a day. We had our nice swim. Let's go back to the camp and prepare for tomorrow. Good morning. So it's early enough, we slept three and a half hours. Um, it's just about 3 a.m. in the morning. We gotta have a coffee. Oh, I'm sorry. We gotta have a coffee. Freshing ourselves up. We're almost prepared already. Then we're driving off trying to take a few pictures of the stars of the nice uh, of the nice sky and then we're gonna start our hike up to Roy's Peak um, so probably gonna have the sunrise right at the top or just before we hit the top and we'll be um, We'll be having the trek probably for ourselves or almost ourselves. Most people start at like 9 or 10. So we're going to have a very nice hike. All right, good morning. I was very naive to think that we're going to be the only ones. The car park is like packed with like 30 cars, 30, 40 maybe so we won't be the only ones it is now a uh, quarter to four in the morning and uh, Roy's peak 16 kilometers return about six hours about six hours all the way up anything that we need to know uh no all right so here we go we are equipped with our head torch and uh, we have a little backpack like a little sports pack with water inside there's gonna be no water along the way no drinkable water at least and hold on Um, 
yeah we're very thinly closed um, we don't have we have a shorts tank top and trainers no hiking boots apparently it should be all right during summertime but it's recommended to wear boots Royce Peak is just another one and a half K and the viewpoint is 80 meters away from us but we want to make it to the top right uh, it's still very dark the sun is slowly coming up behind me Whew. oh where do I need to go to go up that way yeah fuck alrighty up that way I guess all right I made it to the top one hour and 50 minutes eight and a half K and it's what's the time now almost quarter to six so we're right in time for the sunrise sun is supposed to rise at 20 past six and just look around how high we are up you can see the snow on the mountains over there Lake Wanaka down there and the sun about to rise up there and uh, I'm glad that we went this early in the morning because there's already like I guess like 40 people up here yeah and um, yeah I'm surprised that I walked it in an hour and 50 minutes I didn't take a break on the way up and uh, I tried to keep a steady pace which worked quite well it was not planned though but it was so dark so it was I wasn't able to take any pictures or videos anyway um, yeah, but now that I'm up here I'm already I was quite sweaty I'm wet and uh, my outfit is quite quite light it's a bit windy and cold up here but we won't stay for too long we wait for the sunrise we're gonna enjoy this and then uh, take the drone out if possible and then we make it our way down again what a treat being up here
sun is rising so I'll just take a little video of the surroundings sunlight touching the the mountains now looking way different having a different view over Lake Wanaka and as you can see I'm not the only crazy person that went up quite early in the morning some people sleeping down there some people cooking pasta up here <laughs> And we made it to the sunrise, and that was worth it, definitely. Um, hands are numb, I'm so cold. And I guess we're gonna stay for another five minutes ish and then we run back down towards the parking lot. That's the way that we walked up. You can see the the trail <laughs> and down there this little spot is the uh, the car park that's where our cars So one of a good idea is to run down to get the blood pumping, the blood pumping again. Oh, my hands are so cold. Uh, uh, look at that. It's freaking awesome. Uh, uh, let's see how quickly we make it we make it down I don't think that I'll run eight and a half K down but at least for a little bit morning. morning at least for a little bit to get warm again wow look at this view it's unreal it doesn't feel real it's incredible All right, we are almost halfway down. I think a bit more than halfway actually. Let me just check. Yeah, about halfway, halfway down and the sun is coming out. Warming up. I really enjoy getting some sun. My hands are still cold. But uh, it's enlightening the mountain range, the scenery, and the lake. It's such a beautiful way down. Uh, and way easier than the way up. Definitely way easier. The way up was quite challenging at some points. But um, I kept my, my walk pace steady and uh yeah i was wet when i arrived at the top but a steady walk pace uh was really good um now on the way down my knees does hurt a little bit because of all those tiny steps you have to do because it is quite steep at some point and uh, my right knee doesn't like that that much but what option do we have right um it is only quarter past seven in the morning so while others are still asleep for another two hours we've already done a 17k hike once we arrive down at the bottom and then we can start into a chilled rest of the day we're just gonna be enjoying the weather the lake maybe do a few things here and there if we find something interesting to do but uh, it's definitely gonna be 
a bit more of a relaxed day now. That was actually the view on the way up as well, like above, above the lake there was the moon and a million stars. The dark sky was so lit but it wasn't bright enough to capture on, on my GoPro but it was so beautiful uh, when I walked up because you had the reflection in the water and um, the city city lights surrounding surrounding the lake over there that looked quite stunning as well and these fellas the sheep they scared the the life out of me a couple of times this morning because sometimes I didn't see them and they just appeared on my side or in front of me I had one encounter with a possum fairly big one as well and it wasn't scared it kept on walking towards me on the on the walk trail so I started stomping my foot and I hissed <laughs> and then it slowly moved into into the bush all right guys we made it back down i'm just quickly filming with my phone um so i can uh zoom in from down here to the point to the to the peak so it was all the way up there can I zoom in further? I should be able to. There. All the way up there. That is quite a walkway. But yeah, we finally made it down. And now it's time for a shower and a well-deserved chill and relaxed time.